Hi, welcome back to uh, Scrap Mechanic with Crazy Gamer here. Today we're gonna check out this uh, beautiful little tug I built. Uh, just a little tug. Uh, I would consider it done at least for now. Um, it doesn't have a door because doors in Scrap Mechanic now they get jammed and won't open. So that's why. Oh. Uh, Good uh, deck space for working. This is all pretend though. You can't actually pull the line over to another ship and so forth and so forth. Uh, bridge and uh, deck. It's uh, two, two decks. It, you have the main deck and you have the bridge deck. Uh, if we go on board we can uh, take a look at the deck. Uh, we will take the winch last. Downstairs we have a little bit of one office and um, uh, surveillance station for the engine it's this little this is an engine uh, surveillance system Damn, that nice one sorry about that and we have a computer here just for standard operations and uh, writing reports and receiving and sending emails and stuff like that a little um, eating corner or Relax corner and a fuse box. We also have lights. Woo! Oh, darn it! That's not painted. I'll take it later. Oh, uh, that's all downstairs. We will take buttons when you get up, 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 and we have the front of the deck with some work lights. Darn it! The phone is going off like crazy. Uh, the front of the deck uh, is uh, quite small, but it doesn't need to be bigger. On the bridge we have three seats. You can steer uh, or control the vessel from all the of these three seats here. Uh, all have the same controls. Like if we jump in one seat, we have one, two and three. One and two are bow thrusters. Uh, two goes to the right or starboard and number one. Number one goes to port or left, and two goes to starboard or right. Three is an extra power mode when you are towing something or pushing something, or else doing uh, tasks that need a bit more power. Uh, this uh, most rear one is one you use when you tow because you have a clear image of or clear vision of the whole deck and the ship that's behind you or anything else that you would um, tow with this uh, vessel um, from the front most oh, from the front most seat you can see pretty much all the way into the to the pier when you're docking and good vision forward too actually not too bad and we have lights also at the bridge and we have for the work lights at the stern uh, how do I show this the work lights at the bow and this one is for lanterns or signal lights it's this one this one the one on top and burn it and the one on the stern so if I press on that you see we have the right and left uh, or starboard and port um, signal light the top and the rear Pretty basic, not too complicated. Uh, then you have this. You might ask, what is this weird looking shit with buttons on? Um, there's a seat down here, a little bit invisible, but it's a standing seat. Uh, I'll take from five. Five is these locks. They go a bit quick, but oh well. Four is for one to like. If it's angled, you can center it. And then you have three, it's the extension, and one and two are to lift or lower the like the line. So it's not too hard and when you tow you just uh, put up, take down and put off just have it loose like this and it'll swivel to the right and to the left. Uh, as you like turn with the ship so yeah 
it's pretty basic it's not the most difficult one I could make it uh, a lot better but then it get much laggier and I'll have to come on turn up just have to hoist this a bit I'll go over in another world after I've shown this to at least try to push or and tow a vessel that's um, uh, a dead ship as we call it uh, with no power the engine is that uh, with this button you open the engine bay the engine bay is underwater because shit's out and here you have thrusters you have the um, WS converter it's these things and you have the AD converter um, pretty basic engine room Come on, come. And these buttons are for the locks. Like so. And the um, tow line is set to uh, one degree up or one degree down for small adjustments. And. Uh, We'll take the driving and everything else in the next world. Okay, now we are back in uh, the new world. Um, as you see, I have set up a target outside here, which uh, is out of power. Uh, RP, roleplay. Uh, procedures for starting up the vessel and uh, make it going and uh, get ready. All you need is uh, this uh, standard peg to make it able to be towing because of this like so you start with oh, oh, pushing it into place like so and then you lock it and then you can pull them back because now it's locked it won't move so I'll I have set up all the working lights on and the lanterns so now we're gonna go out Oh, oh, yeah, boat roster on one and two. As now, I'm pushing out with the bow and also pushing out with the stern with A and D. Let's start moving. So you just come and pull along. Now I'm gonna change to the rearmost. Now it's lagging a bit, that's uh, scrap mechanic, that's scrap mechanic. Just jumping on board, this is an old build, uh, I'm sorry about how it looks. And you just go to the bow and you place your peg as far forward as you can get. Um, without, you don't have to destroy anything, but like so, and now I jump back into my sh in the tug and I'll get ready. Holy the lag. Help. Oops, like so, and we are like ish good lined up with the ship. Let's go down on the deck, karma. 
place myself in the seat. I'm using the model piston to get the 64 range. Like so, that has to be good enough. Let's go up. I can't do it. Oh, we're that far away actually. Um, as you see, it's not the uh, almost difficult um, way of hooking up. No, oh. oh, you have uh, the boat roster on this, so I would advise if you are getting this from oh. Let's try it there. If you download this, uh, we'll be on workshop and I'll... Oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, I got it. First try, nice. Then you have to unlock the two pegs that you have here at button five. Like so. And now, I'll be ready. As you see, not much is happening. So you press 3. And you have a bit more power. Holy shit, what the f... I just broke it. Oh, that might be why. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 I have to do a bit tweaking uh, with this. Um, try to adjust the power because that was way too much power. As you might saw. I glitched out the whole thingamajig, but oh well. Um, um yeah. Oh well. That's gonna be all this. Um Like so, you just push it out and uh, get connected. I would be damned if I get this at first try. Oh. Like so.
like this. It is gonna go slow, but that's um, because you want to have control over the vessel you're towing. Or in the boat, I'm pushing now. Like so. Like so. And you'll either make it back to your station or get docked wherever you want. Uh, this is just a little preview of an upcoming episode from one of my streams. I think you know which one I'm talking about. I'm of course talking about the cargo ship. This will be... Yeah, you'll see. It is an upcoming episode. I'm gonna build on this uh, port world a bit more. Uh, as you see, I have some docks laid out already and piers and there is another one on the other side you can kind of see it like it's up up in the right corn left corner now you'll see a bit white and uh, that's my body that's building that but uh, we can go and see that another in another episode but uh, thanks for watching comment below of suggestions for what I'm so can build for a future episode about this. I'm gonna improve a lot of my ships which I built before, like the one you see in front of me. I know that the uh, mods are more, um, shall we say, uh, normal to use. Um, I'm gonna use them. But thank you for watching. Uh, comment below of uh, new and uh, new suggestions of what to build, both in this port wall and the city wall. The city episode will come. Um, sometimes later, maybe over the weekend, I think. Um, uh, like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like it, and um, subscribe, please. Have a thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.